We note right away that, compared to the pre-styling model, the Mercedes-Benz ML, which has been produced since 2002, has become an order of magnitude better car. The very first copies of it were distinguished by finishing materials that were very cheap for a status brand and a whole bunch of childhood illnesses. The first generation Mercedes-Benz ML Series W163 began to be produced at the plant in Alabama, USA, in 1997. It was an SUV with a supporting frame and permanent four-wheel drive with a reduction gear. Then the assembly was organized in Austria. Under the hood of the basic modification of the ML230 was a 2.3-liter four-cylinder engine, 150 horsepower. More powerful versions of the ML320 and ML350 were equipped with V-shaped sixes, 3.2, 218 horsepower, and 3.7, 235 to 245 forces. While SUVs with the ML430 and ML500 indices had V8 engines with a volume of 4.3 and 5.0 L and 272 and 292 horsepower, respectively. There were also a couple of turbo diesels. A total of 620,000 cars were produced. It is curious that on the basis of ML, at one time, Pope Mobile was created for the parade trips of the Pontiff. The second generation of the Mercedes-Benz MLW-164 appeared at the beginning of 2005, replacing the model with the Index-163 on the assembly line. Instead of a frame structure, the car tried on a load-bearing body. In the suspension, the torsion bars gave way to a spring two-lever front and a four-lever rear, and the wheelbase increased from 28.20 to 29.15 mm. Nevertheless, the ML is a practical and comfortable car endowed with decent off-road qualities and good handling. For this, the designers had to make some compromises. It has completely independent suspensions, while the body rests on a powerful frame. The post-styling ML was equipped with petrol V6S of 3.2 liters, 218 horsepower, and 3.7 liters, 234 horsepower, as well as V8S of 5.0 liters, 292 horsepower, and 5.4 L, 347 horsepower. AMG version. There were also turbo diesels of 5 2.7L, 163 horsepower, and V8 4.0L, 250 horsepower. With all engines, except for the 2.7-liter diesel engine, which was equipped with a six-speed mechanics in the base, a five-band automatic was combined. Mercedes-Benz ML has permanent all-wheel drive and free differentials. Torque is distributed between the front and rear wheels in a ratio of 40,60. The role of mechanical interlocks is played by the 4 ETS electronic traction control system, which slows down slipping wheels and transfers torque to those with better traction. There is also a downshift, with a factor of 2.64. Used MLs were brought in mainly from America, where they were made, in Tuscaloosa, Alabama. True, the local cars did not always differ in well-groomedness. A good option is a copy delivered from some European country. Europeans are meticulous when it comes to routine maintenance, and it's absolutely great if it's a car that was previously bought new in Russia. Such an ML usually has a transparent pedigree and is in good condition. The design of the, the Melki for an SUV is rather amorphous and insipid, a sort of station wagon with high ground clearance. In general, the appearance also did not impress the fans of the brand. If the body is neatly tailored, then the assembly of the cabin did not differ in pedantry. The list of serial equipment of the Mercedes-Benz ML is quite rich. The car came with full power accessories, glasses, heated seats and mirrors, climate control, fog lights and automatic. There are many on the secondary inversions, understaffed with leather interior and xenon headlights. The most massive modification of the ML is the version with the petrol V6. This motor, like its 8-cylinder counterpart with a durable timing chain, is highly reliable. They are quiet environmentally friendly and economical, but demanding in terms of quality and timely oil changes, synthetic castrol is recommended. But the oil appetite of engines is very solid. Consumption can reach up to 8001000G per 1000 kilometers and even more. The manufacturer presents this as a specificity of the motor and advises to regularly monitor the oil level. Spark plugs with platinum or iridium electrodes, which are two per cylinder in engines, suffer from our gasoline. On our roads, instead of the prescribed 90,000 kilometers, they would stand at best 40,000 kilometers, replacing them will cost 5,600 rubles. On V6 and 7,500 rubles. On V8, 
In addition to candles, spark plug tips are to blame for unstable operation, which rarely withstand more than three to four years from the high temperature stress of V-shaped motors. The risk group also includes injection nozzles, which can last up to 100,000 kilometers, but sometimes they deteriorate after 30,000 kilometers. At each MOT, it is advisable to check the condition of the crankshaft pulley, the rubber damper of which collapses after about 70,000 kilometers of run. In the automatic transmission, it is recommended to check the oil for burning at each two, that is, whether it has darkened and whether it smells of burning. By the way, it is filled only with the special transmission, Dextrin 3. And special attention during maintenance should be paid to the oil level in the machine. The box in this sense is capricious, underfilling it still forgives, but overflowing is unacceptable. The transmission is virtually maintenance-free. Just when buying a used car, you need to change the oil in the transfer case and axle gearboxes and be sure to see what condition the CV joints are in. The electric motor, which includes a downshift in the transfer case, is located under the bottom to the right of the demultiplier and is an excellent target for moisture and dirt. Because of this, it often fails. By a run of 100,000 kilometers, APRA and earlier, the intermediate bearing of the car and shaft wears out. The SUV suspension is very strong. True, there were problems with the front stabilizer struts, from 1350 rubles per piece, which were changed almost at every MOT. After changing the design, they would stand an average of 60,000 to 70,000 kilometers. By this run, the tie rod ends, 2,100 rubles, also wear out. The pads serve an average of 20,000 to 30,000 kilometers, and the discs can withstand two or three pad replacements. Failures of ABS sensors are very rare. The engine is demanding on fuel quality. Because of this, airflow sensors, 5,600 rubles, oxygen sensors, from 3,500 rubles, and even converters, which are quite expensive, from 35,000 rubles, can fail. In the front suspension, the lower ball bearings do not differ in strength, from 3,900 rubles to T. After replacement, after 40,000 to 50,000 kilometers, you will have to set the camber and toe angles. This is an additional 2,800 rubles. Body. Door locks creak on ML, but treatment costs only 1,500 rubles. But if the hatch sticks, urgently to the service for repairs. In the case of a neglected disease, you will have to buy a new drive assembly. It costs from 43,000 to 57,000 rubles. Transmission. If the machine goes into emergency mode and the car can only move in second gear, and the movements of the automatic transmission lever respond with strong blows to the bowels of the transmission, do not rush to look for an automatic transmission repair specialist. These symptoms may be the cause of the failure of the demultiplier motor. If cleaning, for 1,500 rubles, does not help, you will have to buy a new one, 5,900 rubles, to replace the burnt one. In the rear suspension, shock absorbers live about 50,000 kilometers. In general, the shock absorbers are still quite serviceable by this time, and their lower supports wear out, which are destroyed by dirt and salt and begin to creak during movement. Therefore, many specialized services offer to extend the life of silent blocks. The supports are stuffed with grease, and they are enough for a couple of seasons. Pros and cons. Plus the authority of the brand and model. Spacious salon. Powerful engines. Pretty high price. Expensive parts and service. Low-quality pre-styling versions.